Sam? Hey, man. Thanks for the invitation. I, I didn't pick you for a tennis player. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Are you okay? You seemed really wired when I left last night. Everything's really good. Really good. Great job, great bunch of people, friendships, collaborating with you. Order food when we want. Nice hotel, we can play tennis, we can go to the pool. Do you play tennis much? Which one do you want? They're both the same. Your choice. They're, they're both the same. I'll take that one. You gotta get the, uh, the throw right. It's my biggest problem, always was. Oh, ace. <laughs> get your eye on the ball. Shit, man, sorry. Almost. <laughs> oh, it's just a game. Just out. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Hey, 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 hey. It's kind of personal preference. Some people hold a bit higher. You can double up if you need to. You can have a little bit more freedom in the upper body. Mm. Okay, let's try this time. You throw the ball up. Almost. Here we go. Lift off. Travis Kraft's emailed back. What? Kraft. Got back already. He's emailed back. What'd he say? Hey guys, great to hear from you. As it happens, the industry in Manila can be a tough nut to crack. I can connect you with some top level casting agents. Yes! But from there on in, it's every man for himself. As for doing an interview, I'd be more than happy to meet up. When works for you? Kraft. Congrats, man. Um, all right. Are you serious about this guy? Absolutely. This is good. This is why I told you to come around last night. There's something about this guy. I think we've got to pursue it. And he's responded really quickly. And I think we've got to take that as a bit of a sign. And we go and meet him. This is the guy. This is the moment. This is our chance. Okay, something's not right. I mean, I, I know people have ups and downs, but this is something else. Two nights ago, it's like he is high on ice. Then yesterday, it's like he's come back from a silent yoga retreat. Then last night, he comes back to work, and he's being all touchy and protective with the women, cuddling them in the hallways and stuff. It's gross. It's weird. It's sad. I'm gonna keep an eye on him, but not today, because I have actually been approached by Simon Gleason and Kerry Ann Greenland to be the MC for their album launch this afternoon. I guess after I did the front of house announcements, you know, one job leads to another. <laughs> Hey man, I didn't know you were coming. Thank you. Wouldn't miss it for the world. No, I just thought I'd see this guy. He's got pretty good opportunities. Nice, uh, nice t-shirt. Oh, sorry man, I, I didn't realise. No, I'm saying it it, actually, it is a nice t-shirt. Thank you. What's, uh, what, what's Hugo? Has he been able to run through with him? No, no. I don't need to. I just basically just gave dot points and said. I trust you're going to make something for something of like this. So he's basically in charge of the, uh, the whole running of it. Cool. Um, you had a read of it? No. Oh, man, that, dude. He says his name. Do you need to say your name? My yes. name is, is that important? I'm Hugo Fiorella. It's not a really opportunity for you to plug your role, man. Anyway, um, so absolute, have you read it? No, I don't need to. I haven't read much of it, but I would have a read. Really? Yeah, that's... So first off, I have to say what an absolute honour and a privilege it is to have the opportunity to share with you the work of two of Australia's finest music theatre performers. I've only had the albums for a short time and they very quickly made it to the most played list in my iTunes account. And I have over 33 days worth of music, so that's not, <laughs> not insignificant. Um, I count myself not only their colleague, but also quite possibly their greatest fan. Thank you, and please feel free to come and join us for the album signing. Ask any questions if you still have any, and have a lovely, lovely afternoon. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready. I think so. I'm just going to wear this, I think. I'm just going to do my low drama mm -hmm. here. Alright. Yeah, sorry, man. Christ. Can't be late. No. Can make a good impression down there. Can you see my... I've got a little ball. 
see it. No, you can't see it. If you press your hair forward, I think you'll be right. Because all the young guys are going to be down there. It's like Hawaiian tropical thing. You don't think? Bring it down. Bring it down. I don't know what these people like. Are they down there? I don't know. Well, we've still got 10 minutes or something. Oh, you don't have a pool view, do you? You can't arrive with that, but go on. Yeah, bring it. Don't, that don't, don't, yeah, don't bring right. it. You been working out a bit? Or? Hold on. Are you ready? Yeah, I think I'm ready. Should we hydrate? Take water or something? No, don't be stupid. Let's just fucking go. Yeah, cool. Alright. This is Chris Derling, one of the stars of the show. Oh, hi. You got any pointers, Chris? Because we... Cause... For the photo shoot? Yeah. yeah. Um, we just, you... We're not that experienced. You gotta think, like, blue. Blue? Blue. Is that for your mouth? Blue, yeah. Blue. Kind of gets you to start pouting that little bit, you know? Blue. 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 Your eyes... Your eyes, man. Don't you can't have dead eyes. Yeah. Oh. time on As Actors. Oh, that's fine. That's totally fine. How long do you think you'll be? They're running <coughs> an hour late. Right. Travis, 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 Travis. Well, I'm not Tom Cruise in the Philippines. I'm not to that level. I'm maybe more a little bit like Tony Danza. <laughs> what could we do that could make a palpable difference to any of these people's lives? Living in America, where it's like the twilight zone. <laughs>